Good morning, everyone. Welcome back into North Dakota today. Well, the countdown is on. There are only three more days until Bounce in the Valley starts at the Red River Valley Fair Fairgrounds. Director of Marketing and Events Elizabeth Berkmeyer here has more info. Welcome. Thank you. Yeah, I'm excited to talk about our Bounce in the Valley. Um, it's sort of a new event. We did Bounce in the Spring last mm -hmm. spring as sort of like a cabin fever. Everyone's itching to get uh, to go and do something. You know, that awkward time between there's still a bunch of snow and you don't know when it's going to leave. Mm -hmm. um, and it went over super well last spring, so we brought it back. Um, so we'll have over 20 plus inflatables, uh, bouncy houses, obstacle courses, games, all that sort of fun stuff um, inside Butler Arena at the fairgrounds this weekend, uh, the 10th through the 12th, um, and just coming for people to come in and enjoy. Yes, how exciting. You know, it's chilly outside, there's no pumpkin patches anymore. Yes. Lost in the Valley is already wrapped up, mm -hmm. so this is a perfect indoor activity for the whole family. Absolutely, um, and what's fun about it too is um, you only need a ticket if you're jumping. Okay. So the parents that want to come that are just there to watch their kids and bring their kids, they don't need to have a ticket, uh, so you only need a ticket if you're jumping, which I know a lot of um, parents and adults appreciate as well. Absolutely, yes, trying to save a few bucks then. <laughs> <laughs> perfect, so you said you had this event in the spring of last year, correct? Yeah, so we did it um, last March. Um, and it was the same type of thing. We'll have some of the same sort of games, um, but we had a few thousand people show up. Wow. Um, last year, or last spring, we only did it two days. We switched it to three days. Mm -hmm. So we'll be running uh, Friday from noon to nine, Saturday from nine to nine, and Sunday from noon to six. So more hours for people to come and jump. Um, our daily ticket price is $10 a ticket, um, or our weekend price. So for three days, you could jump for all three days for $20. Oh, wow. um, so tons of savings that way as well. Absolutely. So we touched on the bounce houses. Are there any other activities that people can do? Absolutely. So there's um, the interactive game. So you know the one you put on the helmet and then you're knocking people off. Okay. Um, yes. Some of the <laughs> fighting ones like that. Uh, there's some um, like throwing games, um, football toss, you know, you're trying to reach a certain uh, area to grab points. Um, so sort of other different uh, games there. We also have a separate toddler area. Mm -hmm. um, so those games that are geared toward the littler kiddos or, you know, around the two, three years old, um, that is a separate area as well. So parents um, don't have to worry about the big kids coming and knocking over their little mm -hmm. ones too. Smart. <laughs> um, but we'll also have face painting available. Um, I think we're trying to get some, a caricature artist. Uh, there'll be um, some music, light up toys. So lots of fun and food as well will be concessions. Absolutely, we love that. So was there a specific bouncy house or activity that was a big hit in the spring that you're looking forward to? Um, I like the obstacle courses just because mm -hmm. it's a little, um, as an older person yes. too, so it's a little <laughs> more interactive, a uh, little different things happening the whole time. But I know um, a bunch of people just love to, they would sit in that bouncy house and they bounce for mm -hmm. a long time. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I need to know, you know, as an older person, an old, overgrown <laughs> kid, can adults bounce too? Absolutely. Okay. So all ages are welcome. Um, absolutely. Bring the whole family. Exciting. <laughs> well, you guys are constantly busy over the Red River Valley Fairgrounds. Are there any other exciting things we need to keep an eye out for for 2023? Absolutely. So um, we'll have Bounce the Valley this weekend, and then our last uh, fairground-sponsored event for the year will be Holiday Lights at the fairgrounds. So it's a big uh, drive through display. display. It's about a mile and a half long. Wow. Um, that'll wind through the fairgrounds. Um, it'll start on Black Friday um, and it'll run uh, through New Year's Eve. So lots of days to come check it out. Um, we'll be having some fun theme nights. We'll announce those uh, here in a couple weeks or so. Um, some nonprofit nights as well. Uh, we had a dog night last year or oh, a pet fun. night that went super, super well. We're bringing that back. Um, so just those sorts of fun things within the holiday lights. Um, and of course the holiday lights um, itself. I love that this time of year mm -hmm. and be able to drive around. Um, we have tons of displays. Uh, we have some new ones. So even if you came last year, it'll look different. Um, that's a fun part about it as well. Absolutely. And you said this runs from Black Friday to New Year's Eve. So is yes. it nightly or just weekends? So um, for the first two weeks, we'll only run Thursday through Sunday. Okay. Um, and then starting December 10th, we'll do it daily every night from 5.30 to 10 p.m. Oh my gosh, what a perfect way to get yes. in the holiday spirit. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> 
Yes, tons of fun. Yes. Okay, so one more time for our viewers, what are the details of Bounce in the Valley and how can we get tickets? Yes, so uh, Bounce in the Valley will run on November 10th through 12th this weekend, Friday through Sunday. Um, and tickets, more information, all that fun stuff can be found at RedRiverValleyFair.com. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Elizabeth. Thank you. Yes, of course. And we will stay tuned for all of the fun things that you have coming up in 2024 as well. We're yes, excited. absolutely. Lots of fun coming. Yes, absolutely. All right, everyone stick around. We have your daily dose of motivation coming up after the break.